What's up guys, welcome back to so today, Tanjiro, real rage mode from his fight with Gyotaro. Uh, close up, he's got the, like his, your man's uh, blade, his weapon coming up through his chin. And it's, you know, he's like, don't give up, keep keep fighting. So let's go, I'm on landscape page, use a pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast when I move my hand. Definitely sketch it out first, pencil, and then ink afterwards. That's what I recommend. So let's go. So I guess we start with his eyes, right? So big, crazy big eyes, right? And we got his head is tilted, right? If you wanted, you could do it straight, but I'm gonna go with the original image and I'll just do the head tilt, right? So let's say, so like we can see his like, yeah, we can see his like whole eye. So it's a big curved line. Right, so it goes. Don't like that sharpie change. Okay, goes this way. And it's starting to curve, and it goes real far, right, on my page, because it's real close up on his face now. Okay, it goes all around to there. So that's how we begin. So this big sort of curved line. Like that, right? And his eye shape is kind of like, um, what would you say, a lemon, right? So a lemon just comes around this kind of shape here, right? And it comes around the bottom eyelid and in towards the pupil again. In towards the tear duct, sorry. And it curves around. So, yeah, heavily frowning, but we, we do have a thick top eyelid again, right? So, and this image is like drawn, it looks like it's drawn with like a paintbrush or something. So it's crazy, yeah, crazy thick lines and stuff. So we don't have to be, we can like sketch it a little bit, you know, and this kind of stuff if we want. kind of spiky lines coming off the end maybe all right so this will be all black inside here I right, kind of like that and then he's got like loads of like texture lines and stuff that close off this eyelid line, this eye tear duct line just there. He's got like lots of texture lines coming around his face. You know, stuff like this, wrinkles and stress lines and stuff because he's gone through the ringer, poor Tanjiro. Right. So we'll do his other eye and then we'll add details. We'll just get the main shapes. So the other eye just over here, we're kind of down. So we're diagonal, right? Diagonal on the face, right? So we've the other sort of tear duct there, right? So his other eye starts here. Big lemon shape again. Right, and then down. down around and up into here. Don't worry if they're not exactly the same. They're not exactly the same in the picture I'm drawn from, so. And then we thicken up his eye, right? So his eyelid, and we can add again, eyelash, you know, sort of spikes and things. And this will go back this way. Ooh, underneath his eyebrow. I think it like touches his eyebrow a little bit. Go back this way. Just 
just shading it in. Right, so then more sort of stress lines and things around his eye. Like so, okay. So now you can see a bit more clearly what we're dealing with for his eyes. Inside the eyes, we've got like lots of these veins then. These are done with red, you know, color. They color them digitally, I think. So they would draw them with um, black ink first and then change it afterwards. <laughs> Episode of animation, this was huh? what a fine example of animation. My god, um, how did they do it? That's what I want to know. Amazing stuff. I'm sure computers are helping these days, but still, unbelievable. It's you know, it's a true art form. I know, like. You know, because I studied fine art, so, um, you know, so painting and all that classical stuff. But this, this is just as impressive to me. This animation, Japanese animation specifically. Very good. So, next step. We'll go for the eyebrows, right? So, um real big angles on them, right? So spikes down here, and then it would go like up this way, okay? So like a big V here, and then it would come around, go up, and then it kind of zigzags off. So it goes up and then across this way somewhere. Maybe out here somewhere. And this is like real thick here. goes up this way, drawn in, kind of bumpy, and then goes down this way, right? And then the other eyebrow, similar sort of thing, comes down, across, pretty close to his eyelid line there. Up like so, it's kind of thick here. Thinner as we go up, how high up do we go? So we're lower, we're like in line with like this, so like here. And then we go down that way. Kind of like that, right? And then in here we have eyelid lines and stuff, so like lots of sort of lines inside here. Same thing over here, pretty much eyelid line. Eyelid line coming down that way. Like so. Like that. Okay, and then he has um, extra sort of frown lines and stuff inside his nose, right? So, like, this kind of wrinkly, wrinkly lines just here. Alright, 
mint. So there's like lots of veins and things. We just get his nose in. So his nose just down here. So it's like carving out. Goes back in, just there. And then a big nostril line there. And then I think there's a bit of a shadow on the bottom of his nose just here. So we'll just thicken this up a little bit. And then there's like all hatching on his nose there and then like wrinkles on his face crinkling up his nose here mm -hmm. kind of like that so real rage mode Tanjiro right Right, then his mouth, so open, screaming, roaring. So we'll give it, we'll make it look like he's smiling first, just because we can. So it comes across here. <laughs> right. So real weird smiling mouth. And then it's we're gonna open it up. So it curves around here on the sides. Like so. And then we'll go down. Around, right? So curves all the way down around. Real open, and then we'll add teeth and things on the inside. Like so. Right? And he could have like some stretch skin lines around the edges of his mouth. Like so. So then his top teeth follow that sort of shape for the top of his mouth. There's no teeth actually drawn in. It's just like a white gum shield sort of shape here. I think they're good. they put a shadow on this side actually, in, in around here. Like a dark, dramatic dark shadow. And then bottom teeth, you can just see the back of them here. And tongue comes around the front of the teeth, back around there. And I think there's like some vertical hatching inside his cheek. And then we can see um, the blade coming up into his mouth, so it goes up there. There, and then a line kind of down the middle, like so, and then his chin line. So it's that sort of diamond that they have in Demon Slayer. Right, and what we can see of his chin. So yeah, let's just go down this way. Comes around. There. Okay, so like in terms of proportion, you're not really in much proportion, but I would say top eyelid to his nose is about the same as nose to chin. Like his, his eyes are really big, so like the top of his eye here to his nostril, about the same as here to here. Okay, so that you want your nose to be about halfway between the top of his eyes and the chin, roughly. Okay, it's rough, but the, the eyes are so big, everything's out of whack, so do your best. And then, jaw, carve up. This will go around his face, right, we'll stop. We'll stop sort of just beside his eye and get the jaw on the other side first before we go up the side of his head. So this one needs hair somewhere. I think his ear and then kind of his 
bit different. So it comes up like that, okay? And then this side travels up all the way to his hairline up here. So there's like, there's a spike of hair here somewhere. So like, we'll put it in here. So let's go just here, be brave there. Okay, and then we go back in up to there and then this will go up and towards his forehead eventually, right? Like so, and around. Right, I'll, I'll jump over here because I'm not sure how high up. So we'll go this way. Right, so we're going up to his forehead. Like so, top of V, sort of, of his hair, kind of here. Right, and this will go all the way around. So. Here, right, and then it starts to like do these sort of spiky things. here and then they kind of spike back the other way need this then okay so is that line right I think this V should be moved a little bit more this way. So I'm just gonna fix this, right? So I'm just gonna put it more in the center. Like, like there, I think. Okay, so then on his face, so we have veins and those markings and blood and stuff. So we do the marking, like the spikes on his face first. Forehead and up in under his hair. And the other side of it is out just above his eyebrow here from his hair. And it's then it kind of spikes around here. Like so. And up around this way. comes out from his brow, his eyebrow, around here, around, back up, around this way, around to there, and then there's some on the side of his face here as well, this comes up, down, face like so and then like veins and things right so like a vein here and around the like side of his face here This coming around the side of his face. There. 
one coming in on his temple. There. Another one up here. Another one this side. Maybe like a drip of sweat or something on his face there. Like so, right, so. So what we can see, so his ear here, right? We can see an ear there. And we can barely see his ear on this side because it goes underneath his earring, right? So we got the earring that like comes across touches his face and these are all like blowing in the wind so don't worry if yours aren't exactly the same position as mine there's like an earring there and then we can see like the bottom of his ear underneath right the other earring is going in a different direction so it's like here at the end of it here right let me just join these together That uh, it's it's stood his piercing on his ears there and it just joins to that and then this one sort of joins to his ear down there somewhere and then we can see the land Line on top, curving, sun in the top section, and then the rays of sunshine coming down. Like so, and then we do something similar on this side. Top and bottom, and then the land kind of flattened a little bit because you know we're in perspective now. So then, and like so, down to here, down to there, like that. Okay, so then the rest of his hair, right? So spiking out around his head and all this is drawn real rough right so it's not we don't put great amount of detail or anything into the hair spikes in this version of Tanjiro oops We just keep going. His hair is pretty wild. And it's drawn with like lots of energy and sort of but we'll we'll give it like an easier sort of We go more closely related to standard anime hair Tanjiro. Okay, so this goes up. This is going to like the side of his head here. And then we have hair coming out from behind his earring here, I think.
so like that and then we got to draw in all those black sort of shapes right so no easy way of doing it so say like we'll start on on this one so like a black shape out here and down to there here and then we kind of go around all these so you just add sort of black shadows inside this bottom one's all black and then we go all around them again they can like so so that's so it's black like I'll put dots black all in here black in here and then we keep going black all in here that are black so we don't mess up any of the colors so this is all black uh, this is black in that one so go around that way the other side here I know I'm not saying much, but it, there isn't much to say really. You just kind of add the shapes where you see them. They, they serve as a shadow on his hair. And they kind of become just all black down here then. And again, that's drawn with all crazy energy and stuff. So if you, they use like a brush, you can tell, you can actually see the brush marks. It's kind of cool um, but I think that'll do for me anyway yeah. okay so um, shoulder okay so shoulder and mine's here so like his kimono disappears that way shoulder goes around like here like there and maybe like another sort of shoulder line coming down that way and then we can see Toro's blade and stuff just coming out from underneath his chin and his white collar so 
these white color just here we'll do that first and then this kind of we've got like fold lines and stuff going up side of his face and then this kind of disappears up underneath his ear here so where his kimono and it's all blood it's all red so his kimono and his shoulder kind of come down all this way right and then fold lines here another line there and then his shoulder goes off here on my page anyway it goes off down that way on the back right like that so what we can see of the blade so say that middle line comes down there triangle that way and then this goes around like so and then some more color or something in there and like shoulder line here so like the edge lines can be quite um thick right so you can like if we have a thicker yeah like you know you can start doing some thicker sort of edge lines if you want uh, you know just giving them some weight if you want to because they're done quite thick in the In the anime but um i'll just do a little bit anyway because it'll just make the video too long so then right so some green and black lines right so put say the green there and this will go up around here yeah it goes off that way and then comes back there so that's like a black square and it's a green square but then that's all black in there and blood and stuff you can't even see it black so there should be another square here now the corner corner i will i'll put one here Yeah, so that's black. Okay. And then here and then coming down that way. Green. Coming across here. And then that way. You can't really make out anything else there. Right, of course, like as much blood as you want, like it's all splattered all over his face, but I'll just do that in color because it's not really drawn in. Um, it's just like blood coming down his face here, on his cheek and in his mouth and stuff like that. But that's it. That is how to draw Tanjiro. Never give up. Never surrender. Never give up. Just do a line on his hair here. Okay, but I think I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.